Hey guys, Sean here. In today's episode, I'm going to be backlighting a Game Boy Color and showing you how with a couple different uh, Ben Van ribbons. These are currently sold out now everywhere, but I figure there's still going to be a few people out there who have these. So just for uh, kind of posterity and keeping the information out there's sake. Uh, these are versions 2.4 and 3.0, so I'm going to show you how to install uh, both of these. So let's get started. Okay, so the two big differences between the 2.4 and the 3.0 is that the 2.4 has a digital backlight brightness controller built in, so you can adjust the brightness of the, uh, of the AGS-101 screen just with the buttons on the, on the Game Boy. Uh, the 3.0 is the digital black border version. So this version actually creates a black border around the screen so you don't have to mask it with uh, vinyl tape or electrical tape or, or whatever you're going to use. Um, this does it all through the software. So that one's really nice. Um, so this is pretty much what you get when you order a kit. I've already installed the screen. Um, this has the, uh, the power LED already connected. Or you have to connect it, but it's already... It's already uh, on here. Um, it has a screw bracket that's already installed, and I've put in the buttons. I've uh, taped off the, the connectors on the screen just because we aren't going to need access to those. And one of the easiest things to forget, I have a lot of people ask me questions on they're trying to backlight their Game Boys themselves, is uh, to mask off these areas here because they touch and these are pointy. You need to cut these, trim these because. They press right into the ribbons, and they damage your ribbons. So make sure you always mask this area, this area, and the back of your LCD. It's also really important on these 2.4 and 3.0s, if you look on the back here, this whole area is metal now. And it makes it a lot sturdier, but it also uh, needs to be masked off. So just get a couple pieces of Kapton tape or electrical tape and cover those right up. Okay, so let's do the 2.4 first since this one requires a little bit more to it. So you'll notice here that it says uh, start and backlight negative. Um, the only one that we need is the start. So get your soldering iron. You might want to add a tiny bit of flux that's optional to the little start pad there. Um, get some solder and just uh, kind of tin that little pad. Just like that. And then we're going to need a short little wire. Let's go ahead and uh, strip the end there. And on the Game Boy Color motherboard, there's these two little spots right here and here. Uh, one of them is Start and one of them is Select. Uh, I believe this first one, the lower one closer to the, uh, the card reader, the lower one is Select. I actually prefer using Select rather, even though this suggests using Start. Um, so basically what you have to do is take your wire, um, it does help adding a little bit of flux here, just right in that little hole. Uh, take your uh, stripped wire, put it right in the hole, and do your best to get some solder in there. It might be best to just add some solder to your soldering iron. Let me clean this real quick. And then you can hold that in place and just use your the solder that's on there. And now, with the other end of this, we only need it to be about that long. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this wire. Okay, so with that wire about that length there, Take our ribbon that's been uh, covered up on the back and plug it in. And 
go ahead and uh, close it down. And so now what we're going to do is just connect the connect that wire to the start pad, even though we have it on select. And that's it. That's all there is to that. So now it's probably a good idea to get some more capped on tape and cover up all of this, just like that. And when you're installing this, let me zoom out a little here. So this is this is how the kit comes with the the screw brackets already installed. Um, when you put your screen in, I like to put just a little dab of hot glue, and then uh, you're going to have to put it in test it, open it up, and then uh, remelt the hot glue just with the, the tip of your of your hot glue gun. And then you can adjust it slightly and then let it, let it cool. And um, one good way, because you don't want to put too much uh, tension on this ribbon, is to just kind of make it as smooth of a curve as you possibly can and open the, the thing, open the little bail lock, and then do the little twist on the LCD ribbon, install that. So nothing is being, there's no pressure anywhere on in the system. And then slowly fold it over like that. And I'm going to go ahead and test it before closing this down, just like this. So the way I test it is with, uh, I have a little AC adapter here. And there we go. Now to test it, you can hold down the select button. And you just hold it down and let go when you want. So there's full brightness, and you keep holding it down, and wherever you stop, that's where it stays. So that's all there is to the 2.4. So let's go ahead and remove that. Um, always be very careful when you remove, when you open up these uh, little lock on the on the motherboard, right here especially, uh, you can slip and break this little corner of the ribbon. So I found it's actually better to use something like a screwdriver or tweezers or something rather than your fingernail because your finger can slip. Okay, so there's that. We're also going to need to desolder this uh, wire, but I'm just going to unplug it for now. And don't forget to unplug this. And that's the 2.4. So now, let me quickly just get rid of this wire real quick. Because the 3.0 doesn't have uh, a backlight controller built in. So we don't need that. So now for this one, I'm going to be installing it completely. So make sure that, again, that this is covered up on the back here. Put it in, lock it down. And maybe cover up some of these. So the 3.0 is much easier. Again, do that kind of curly motion so you don't put any stress on anything. Use a little twist. Plug in the screen. And for this one, what I'm going to do is, this is how I would normally actually finalize the install. So once it's working, um, you take it and you slide it underneath the, the screw brackets. So get them right under there, and it's really tight fit, but just kind of wiggle it back and forth until it goes all the way up. And everything should kind of lock into place. And I'm just going to add one screw in the middle right here for now. Okay, so that feels pretty good there. So this one should have the, uh, the black border around the screen built in. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And yep, so you can see the black border around the screen. And there's no brightness controller, so that's all there is to this one. But yeah, it should be at maximum brightness all the time. So, so 
I guess that's pretty much it for this one, you guys. Um, stay tuned for another video about what I'm going to be coming out with in 2019. I have a lot of ideas and plans and uh, there's a lot going to be coming up. So I look forward to that and I guess I'll see you guys next time.